Hello and welcome to today's cryptocurrency technical analysis where yes this one I will be keeping short, sweet and professional for you as we have got an extremely busy day today inside of Chart Champions with the new learning platform being released. We've been working on it for over a year and today is finally the day you are going to get it. So what a what exciting day. We do have the live stream planned for you later on today. So I'm going to briefly go through the Bitcoin charts here, going over some of the levels and what I'm really looking for next over the next few hours as we begin to look at the stock market open, which for me remains like ultra important. Um, a few things to bear in mind that we are looking at here on the Bitcoin chart. We obviously still have our daily level of resistance. This is our resistance level until we can re, you know, if or when we break through that level and start to hold it as support. Until proven otherwise, this is obviously our resistance level. Towards the top of the range, we look for shorts. Towards the bottom of the range, we look for longs. Bottom of that range is coming in currently at the daily, which is 37,253. Okay, so we are really range bound between 37,253, lower daily, and the top daily, $40,100. Really simplistically, we are currently range bound between those two levels. How can I assist you, giving you a little bit of tips here of what we're looking at? What you know, this high that we put in last night was a mimic of the low that we put in yesterday as well. Okay, I made a video while we were around here yesterday at around 39,200, obviously talking about the harmonic long that I was in. Let me just uh, add that back on for you. We were obviously looking at this A, B, C, down for D. I'd obviously longed the low of the harmonic there at D. And yesterday I was making a video around here in the charts explaining why I was in that long position. Really, well, really simply it was because of the harmonic. What happened in the end, about one, one and a half, two hours later after that video had released, we come up and what we've done is we kind of come back above the high of C, e.g. we had taken the highs of C of that harmonic. We had actually, well, I'll show you here. You had a lot of longs open at the very, very, very top. You can see there are 20 million longs coming in. And essentially, you come back down below that level. What is that has done is it's essentially like this swing forward pattern for, um, of the high of C, leaving trap longs. Okay, and we come back down. We retest here. We retest into the CC. So let's come down on a lower term time frame. You can see here you get your move above the high failed auction, come back down, retest the CC, strong move to the downside. So that that's all technically very 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 nice. You then come back down to your lower daily where once again you see the exact same thing. Look at this, 20, 21 million shorts opening at the lows there. And that was off of your daily level of support, a level that I personally have been. Oh, let me show you this actually. This was from a post on the 25th of February in my group where we had these levels marked out. That's the top daily, 40,100. There's the lower daily, 37,253. And that was from the 25th when I was posted in my group. And obviously we hit that all yesterday on the 27th, coming into the 28th. Uh, the high that was then put in on the 26th. OK, and that was one day later. And then obviously a few days later, what we've done is we come down and hit this lower daily. So the levels are extremely well respected. You saw it the other, you know, you saw it from my video yesterday, how each internal CC is respected there on the harmonic. Then you come up for your swing flow pattern. If you're following the order flow, you got into it you know, at least taking profits on the long. Uh, if not, you could have got into the short on the retest of the CC, like each exact high called in advance, coming down to lows off of the CCs, highs. Once again, remember, ladies and gentlemen, these were all off of CC moves, okay? CC, obviously this was off of your low to high, uh, coming into the CC. So you went from overall high that was called, then we're coming down into intraday CC, intraday CC, harmonic target, failed auction with trap longs, move back down, retesting, the CC coming back down into a daily level, which once again we've had marked out ready for finding support down on that in the end with a once and now again trap shorts at the low. Again, looking at the order flow, it's not too difficult to see this. We can see that 21 million new shorts open right at the absolute low of the wick. And then obviously, off of this, what we're doing now is we're rising, uh, coming up for that CME gap. So again, you can be remembering these type of things the CME gap, of course. Uh, we are coming up to try and attempt to fill that. These are the few things that I'd be looking at right now. Be looking at the CME gap. <laughs> Naturally, we're going to have to be looking at the, the, the CC resistance. Obviously, if you pull it from the last high to low, I guess what you ran into here locally. Okay, so that's just the first local CC. And then obviously you can pull it back a pivot each time you clear. Um, so that would be my first initial thoughts for you all this morning. Really, really, really quick update. The daily levels, massive important support really absolutely no surprise um that we have 
you know, rejected off of this top one, that in the end, we found support for this one. Not that it was a massive but support per se, but more so that we hit that level. We see a lot of shorts opening. We see them get trapped. We change local market structure. Obviously, the most probable thing is then we're going to come up and fill that gap. We we're attempting to fill the gap, but we obviously ran into the first local CC. Um, so yeah, that, that, that's a, what, what I've been speaking for five minutes and I've literally explained to you every single low and high on this chart, why it's been put in and how really one could have traded this very, very nicely. I want to do this similar style that we are looking to do over the, you know, with our videos and that shout outs to the people that are just like you learning and educating themselves and doing nice trades. And this was a really nice one from Daniel. Shout out to Daniel. Uh, <laughs> and it was the same situation where he'd also longed the low of the harmonic and taken it up to those highs again okay? and then it's reacting to what's happening you can see here nice long position bringing it all the way up 355 percentage gain points and taking those highs and reacting as as he says here he initially wanted higher but after you know seeing the reaction took 50 percent take profit then stopped out in profits on the rest of the trade okay so it's like this situation where you see the long that you want to take, you take the long, for example, off the harmonic. You could be looking, for example, to the daily, but once you see evidence in the chart that it's unlikely to go that high, move above the high failed auction, come back down, lock in a nice 50% take profit, move that stop loss up into profits, get stopped on the rest of the trade as you fall back down lower. That is a very, 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 very nice trade. Shout out to Daniel. And obviously another shout that I wanted to do because he's loving it. And that was the short, okay, same similar situation, but instead of taking a uh, long off the harmonic and taking profits at the high, this 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 member Park CO July has entered a short, okay? He originally took a short of the CC. As you can see here, he got stopped out on that trade. Wasn't put off upon seeing the order flow is able to take a secondary short above that high. Okay, uh, you know, if you all it required really simply was to look at the trap long. I think this was this all the flow was a very nice advantage on this one. But you can see here he's gone again for the short position, and then well, last night if you were in the Champions live stream, this was Madremia lovely. But we were obviously looking at that drop during during the live stream last night, and uh, you can see here the short position from thirty nine thousand seven hundred. So you can see here members coming in learning able to make money on their longs, <laughs> able to make money on their shorts. And it's a simple case of, you know, understanding the plans and uh, training them. It's, it's just, It really is quite simple if you put your mind to it, as you can see here. You know, I wanted to give them both a shout out because they've clearly studied what we're teaching and, you know, they're making money off of it. So shout out to those guys. Um, that's the update that I wanted to give you today, ma ma making sure you understand the current range that we are in within this daily and the daily. Important support, important resistance. The CME gap I want you to wanted to remind you of. And of course, with the um, update that we got coming out today, we'll do a live stream. It's really, 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 really important today more than ever that you have your notifications turned on for us, okay? This is gonna be on YouTube especially, and shout out to Bold and Bankrupt because I'm gonna use you as the example here. With our YouTube video, you need to obviously make sure you're subscribed and then click on the bell and click on all. So you want to have all notifications on for our channel. Why? Because we're doing this ultra important live stream today. You do not wanna miss it. So as soon as you go live, you can obviously be alert to that so make sure you're subscribed click the bell click all and the same i kind of recommend on twitter so if you're not following on twitter obviously come over and follow us right now and then the same sort of situation follow us on twitter and then tick this little bell and that will give us a give you a notification as soon as we tweet we're going to be tweeting out some important news information over the next few days as well so yeah all i ask for on this video is tick the bells because you're going to be wanting to notified as soon as we go live um and that is it. That is it on today's quick update here. Really, really quick update. I wanted to go over the last high and loader, why and how they were put in, the levels that I'm continuing to trade off today um, still really simply are those two levels as well as the CME gap for me. That's really important. The intraday CC that we have there as well, notable. Um, and yeah, to be honest, I'm going to go back to work now because I need to get on with, with the launch of our new platform in a few hours time. It's an exciting day. I'm absolutely, I am looking forward to it. So I hope you are too. Thank you ever so much. Hope you enjoy and I'll catch you a little bit later on today for the live stream. Um, of course, this video, important disclaimer, we're talking about the paper trades, no financial advice and all that good legal disclaimer. Um, so I hope you understand that. <laughs> I will catch you in the very next video that we release. Um, thank you ever so much, everybody. Have a brilliant day and Goodbye. Cheers.